Comets are present in a high density outside the Earth's atmosphere. In fact, there are, at any point, around 6,600 comets within two to five astronomical units from the Sun, making them one of the most common entities in the solar system. But what does this mean for us Earth dwellers? Is a comet going to collide with our planet, as reports keep mentioning from time to time? Let us find out. An astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun that is roughly equal to 149.6 million kilometers. As previously said, the highest concentration of comets is found between two to five astronomical units from the Sun in something called the Oort cloud. Astronomers detailed that this Oort cloud can be divided into two sections, a sphere-shaped outer ring and a disk-shaped inner layer. While we know where the Oort cloud is situated presently, astronomers believe that the objects of this cloud used to be much closer to the Sun and were formed similar to how planets of this solar system have. Over time, gravitational effects on the planets as well as the objects have pulled them into their current elliptical orbits. There are estimated to be about trillion objects in the outer layer of the Oort cloud alone, and the inner layer estimated to have at least 10 times more. All of the numbers might be causing caution in people's minds as to the threat these possess to the Earth. But don't worry, as the threat from these objects is only minimal. All of this has not answered our question regarding how these objects even intrude our solar system and into Earth's gravity. In the 20th century, Jan Hendrik Oort hypothesized that neighboring stars possessed enough gravity to attract these objects from the Oort cloud, thereby bringing them into the solar system's fold. This is when a comet as we all know is formed. However, it was in 2019 when we discovered that the stars in the sky had some influence over the comets that Earth experiences. Astrophysicists at the Poznan Observatory compared the orbits of several comets known to mankind with the paths of the stars near the Sun and concluded that at least two stars influence the path of the comets. However, it is interesting to note that stars which are very remote to the solar system have also caused major disturbance in comets. For instance, the star HD 7977, which is located approximately 247 light-years away, is responsible for pushing the comet 2002A3 to pass by Jupiter. However, according to Rita Wysochanska, gravity is not a sufficient factor in directing comets. She believes that there are other forces at play such as the galactic tide. The galactic tide is a force that is tidal in nature and is experienced by the objects under the influence of a galaxy's gravitational force. The Earth moves with the Sun in a large interstellar cloud due to the changing location of the solar system relative to the center of the galaxy which causes the galactic tide. It is the same tidal force that influences the Oort cloud as well. The cloud keeps gradually stretching towards the center of the galaxy and compress it along two other axes. This removes the Oort cloud from the direct influence of the Sun, but places it in such a way that any minor external influence could change the trajectory of the objects. Because of this movement, scientists are reasonably cautious that in the near future there might be comets headed Earth's way. For instance, while our closest star is the Proxima Centauri, which is currently 4.2 light-years away, in about 1.3 million years, this could change. The star Gliese 710 would reach close to our solar system. In this case, the gravitation impacts of our new neighbor could be so great that a whole rain of comets could come falling down on the planets of our solar system. It is clear how this could affect the Oort cloud and have a great number of comets coming Earth's way. However, on the bright side, there is also the occurrence that even when a star shifts position, that it influences no other bodies, as has happened with the Schultz's star nearly 70,000 years ago. The star had passed through the outer layer of the Oort cloud, with no consequence to the trajectory of the comets. Further, the size of the Earth is negligible compared to the length of its orbit, meaning that there is only a small chance of a comet hitting the Earth. And this is where we heave a sigh of relief. How is NASA going to protect Earth from asteroid or comet collisions? The Planetary Society states that an asteroid bigger than one kilometer across is big enough to threaten global destruction. It is estimated that there is one in a 50,000 chance that such an object could hit Earth every 100 years or so. The asteroid which is believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs measured at around 10 kilometers across. Understandably, asteroids are no joke. 
As such, space agencies such as NASA are tracking around 20,000 NEOs constantly. These companies are not only monitoring these close objects, but they are also searching for potential new ones. The objects which have a close approach are indeed potentially hazardous, but none of the ones we currently know of have any direct trajectory towards the Earth. In the event that an asteroid might be on a course towards us, the most likely way in which we could probably deal with it is by sending rockets to intercept it prematurely. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel.